Il s'était rencontré sur les bancs de l'école Entre une heure de colle, de maths ou un cours d'espagnol C'était une fille fun, fan de football Lui ne craignait pas les balles, c'était le call Ce qu'il lui promettait c'était des balles uh, He likes all these, oh my god, he's uh, All these uh, Wu-Tang Kong and TM or All those kind of uh, very re rebel and um... mm. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look like it, but... Suburbs, yeah. suburbs game. Yeah. And she listens to Amel Bent. I don't know if you heard of Amel Bent. <laughs> I don't so... listen to Amel Bent. Yeah, I like uh, the lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> I like the lyrics. Uh, the Godfather, or something like that. <laughs> mm, well, maybe Breaking Bad, because uh, it was a, a series that we watched when we were starting at the school. And actually, the the story kind of the storyline kind of reminded us what we, what we were doing as well. So there was a. <laughs> Les sous ensembles dans les grands ensembles. Sloth. <laughs> yeah, and for her it's a gluten way. She loves sweet. Il plaît devant Dieu ensemble. Football for Vincent. She wouldn't be a sport. No, I, I, I dance. <laughs> la balance, la concurrence. En France, c'est un délit grave. Risqué pour les pommettes. Les mecs sortent des pommettes. So, uh, I started in 2002 at uh, Ancenian. So, I did two years over there in uh, audit. Uh, then, I, went, I worked for Louis Dreyfus in uh, Paris for a couple of years. And then, we, when we moved to Singapore, I uh, moved with Louis Dreyfus. Uh, then, I joined uh, an investment bank, Société Générale. Then, another one, uh, Standard Chartered. Uh, before we decided to, to open our school, uh, La Petite École, so that was four years ago. La Belle et le Bad Boy, les sous-ensembles dans les grands... Uh, so for me, it's no big names, only small companies. So I started in a production uh, video company called Omnitem, then moved to an um, events company called Marketplace. I was a copywriter there. Uh, and then we moved to Singapore, where I took a break from corporate world and I wanted to do something else. So I started uh, again with my passion of teaching and playing the violin. I did that, I was teaching in several schools and privately and playing for the opera in Singapore. And then we opened our school, La Petite Ecole. So La Petite Ecole is a French bilingual school in Singapore, uh, open to children uh, from three to six years old. So the concept of the school is it's a bilingual school, uh, so 50% in French, 50% in English. Uh, it's set in a green environment. Uh, actually, the idea was to complement the existing uh, Lycée Français of Singapore uh, and to offer something slightly different, uh, more international. Uh, so we uh, cater to those families uh, who uh, come to Singapore and who are looking for something uh, more family-minded, more play-based, um, different. And uh, this is something that we can uh, replicate uh, in Singapore but also overseas in Bangkok, in Ho Chi Minh and other cities uh, in the region that have a growing demand uh, for French education because the French community is growing as well in those regions. Vincent said that my uh, sin was gluttony, so I would spend the day I think, eating uh, all the best dishes I like in Singapore, like uh, the uh, Singapore black pepper crab, uh, I would go to East Coast Park, uh, to Esplanade, uh, to Arab Street, because there's a lot of good food as well in Arab Street, in Chinatown also for the food stalls, but also for all the little uh, knickknacks that you can buy. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's also Geelong, a uh, very popular uh, neighborhood, uh, very popular for, for food. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also the, the red light district, but uh, there, there are many different areas in, in Singapore that, uh, that are quite different, actually. Quite, it's quite diverse. La belle et le bad boy, les sous ensemble, dans les grands ensembles, s'assemble. La belle et le bad boy, les sous ensemble. Yes, technically we met on the campus because we are from the same batch, same promotion, H02. Uh, we met, that doesn't mean we hang out, <laughs> but uh, we, yeah. we met. It's yes. funny because we never really talked during uh, our four years at HSA. Uh, briefly, because we, we knew we had, we had some, some friends in common, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah. So we only met after school. Yes. 
Il était convaincant, elle était convaincue à croire qu'aujourd'hui s'arrêter. I think I liked, um, of course, uh, apart from the parties, I liked hanging out in, the, in each other's rooms with their friends and that's how we uh, spent time talking, discussing and uh, creating very good friendships. Probably the place where I spent the most time was the cafe. Uh, the time I was uh, spending a lot of time and during the day playing cards, uh, la coinche, uh, and also drinking beer. Mais entre eux c'était toujours complicité, escale sur un pied d'estal. I was playing football, uh, then I was uh, part of the Zank, so the bar over there. Un vrai truc de ouf, style pur clip de RB, elle vit le grand amour. I participated in a GJE. Uh, campaign, the junior entreprise. Uh, we lost, but it was a good memory. Um, and then, what did I do at school? I, I started doing uh, some law, but uh, I hated it, so I stopped. Then, um, association, I did Ligo Ilan, I don't know if it's still there, um, uh, working with uh, special needs people, uh, so doing uh, some field trips with them and uh, also the um, musical, so I was playing the violin in a musical. It was fame at the time. Be yourself, know yourself, know what you like, know what, you, your, what are your strengths and deal with that. <laughs> and, and, that's your, and that's your job. <laughs> That's what you have to do, yes. I don't believe in motos, so I would say uh, don't believe someone who has a motor. <laughs> oh, the mustache stain with the sauce. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh my god, you're ugly. Oh my god, you're ugly. <laughs> It's not, not made for birds. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, that's trash. Yeah, it's disgusting. Horror movie. Okay, Horror movie. Please. Horror movie. Okay. <laughs>